Wow, hello my people. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Your wish has always been my command. Thanks always. Well, meanwhile, this is another one. All right. This is another one. Okay, on this one it says, I will turn Okada into a university of Ize Iyamu. Okay, Pastor Sage Ize Iyamu, candidate of the All Progressive Congress APC in the Edo governorship election, has promised to transform Okada town to a university hub if elected. Okay, Ize Iyamu made this promise on Saturday at Okada town over a northeast local government area of the state during his word to word campaign tour of the area. Okay, he appreciated the Esama of Benin Chief Gabriel Igbenedion for founding a university in the locality which he said had opened up the area for economic activities. He promised to complement the efforts of Chief Igbenedion in making life more comfortable for the residents of the area. I will construct more roads, open up this area for more development, provide water and aid farmers to become more productive and resourceful. Our goal is to transform the university town to a university city. On his part, former governor of Edo comrade Adams Oshomole expressed his gratitude to the people for their large turnout at the event. He decried alleged neglect of the area in the last four years as there was no new project there since he left office as governor of the state. Meanwhile, Mr. Samson Osage, the Director General APC Campaign Council for Edo South said he was impressed with the support the party was getting throughout the state. Osage expressed optimism that APC would win the September 19 governorship election in Edo. He restated that Ize Iyamu was the best candidate in the upcoming election in the state. Osage has shot that the APC candidate would not disappoint the people if elected, describing him as a man with the fear of God. Okay, and um, that is that. Well, in case you didn't get that, Ize Iyamu said he will turn Okada into a university hub. That is, if he is elected to be the governor of uh, those states. And I can hear some people saying, is that what we are telling you? Is that what we are telling you to do? Is that the first thing? In fact, this man, you don't know what you are talking about. Well, <laughs> like I used to say that this is a game of politics. And I think nobody should take offense when it comes to this. And um, another thing is, if... Pastor Osage Yamo is saying if he is elected to be governor, he will do and undo, he will do exploits. Then let it be because no matter what, you must promise your people good tidings. And that is what he has said so far. But I now noticed that a lot of people were like, Pastor Osage Yamo should go and sit down. What is he talking about? Okay. And I mean, I guess I said that. Is Osage is a Yamu. Why are you deceiving yourself? Don't you know that Edolites are wise? You can't deceive us, Edolites. We know what we, we want. Okay? And um, that is that. That was coming from guests anyway. And uh, it is also said that failed Alpha is a Yamu. Okay? He's trying to say Alpha is a Yamu. Okay, now I understand. You know, there was that time Pastor Osage is a Yamu art where muslim to ban to campaign so now a lot of people are now saying he is now an alpha not a pastor or some people will even rather say pastor alpha is a yamu wow that's funny well that's the game of politics in fact no matter what people will just want to bring down the other party because as it is everybody has his or a home candidate that he is supporting and that is what is going on right now on this one 
Well, our prayer is that let there be a free and fair election. Come September 19, gubernatorial election. Well, in case you don't know, it's just this next week, Saturday. It's just very close by. Oh my God. Hmm. A lot are going to happen on that day. God should just help us in this country so that there won't be any casualties. So I've been advising Edolite. Please, if you know you will be coming out to vote, you have to be very vigilant. Shine your eyes. Yes, and that is it. Make sure you shine your eyes. Because as it is right now, the election is very near and we as we all know we don't need to paint it it's not it's a thing of do or die between both parties that is what is going on right now and meanwhile pastor Osage Iseyamo has said earlier that he is certain of winning the election meanwhile uh, on the other hand Obaseki has said it that there's nothing that will make him to relent in his effort from winning the election so now our own take what we are now looking at is that for these people to be saying they are so sure of themselves on this election that is to tell you that hmm, many many of them in fact that is to tell you that they are ready to do anything to win the election and the way we have been seeing it we just want everybody to know that it's not an easy thing and that is it now a lot of people are saying that if obaseki wins this election that is that is that means edo people are going to enjoy themselves and at the same time some are people saying that obaseki should go back to lagos because he is not going to win the election so we are not like fine so if the supporters of pastor sage is yamu can be so sure that obaseki is going back to lagos then what do you think will happen to obaseki himself because now obaseki has said it in a later word that if he loses the election he will definitely accept defeat so we are not like ah, why would obaseki say a thing like that well this is a game of politics in fact even if he had not said it a lot of people would tell you that that is what he said but who do we believe and that is it. but our prayer is that this election will be a free and fair one in jesus name that is it where well, edolites have to be very careful on that day and that is how i take on that well meanwhile let me have more take from you on this one and remember to subscribe for more updates thanks and god bless